Welcome to my third video on logarithms. In my last video, we talked about expanding logarithms. And in this video, we're going to do exactly the opposite. We're going to condense logarithms. And if you need any extra help, whether it be algebra, calculus, anything that you need, I do offer live tutoring and homework solutions. So check out my website at mathmeeting.com if you're interested. But let's get started right away with this example. So here we have 2 multiplied by the log 2x minus log y subtracted by 2 log 5 plus log z. And we have to condense all of these logs and rewrite them as one single logarithm. And to do this, we are going to use the exact same properties that we used in my last video for expanding logs. So let's use these properties to rewrite all of these logs as one single logarithm. So let's start off with the parentheses on the left-hand side of this expression. Notice how we have a minus sign in between two logs. This is a clear indication that we need to use the quotient property. And the quotient property says if two logs are being subtracted with each other, let's say we have the log of m minus the log of n, we can rewrite these two logs as one single log with division. So we'll have the log of m over n. So let's say this 2x is our m, and let's say the y is our n, and we can rewrite these two logs as one single log, m over n. So we'll have the log of 2x over the log of y. And we can't forget that this 2 is still being multiplied in the front. All right, so now this log can be simplified even further. Now we can use the power property. And the power property can be used any time that there is a constant or a number being multiplied in front of the log. And the power property says that if the number is multiplied in front of the log, you can move it and rewrite it as an exponent on top of the parentheses. Um, so notice how we have a 2 being multiplied in front of the log. So we can use the power property and we can move this 2 and rewrite it as an exponent on top of the 2x over y. And we can simplify this even further by applying this exponent to the numerator and the denominator. So we'll have 2x squared over y squared. And if we simplify this, we get 4x squared over y squared. All right, so now let's take a look at the parentheses on the right-hand side of this expression. Uh, notice how we can use the power property again, uh, because we have a number being multiplied in front of the log 5. So let's take this constant 2 that's being multiplied in front of the log 5 and use the power property, and we can rewrite it as an exponent on top of the 5. So we have the log of 5 squared, and we know that 5 squared is equal to 25, so we have the log of 25. All right, so now let's simplify this parentheses even further. And notice how we have two logs with a plus sign in the middle. Uh, the plus sign in the middle is a clear indication that we need to use the product property. And the product property says that if two logs are being added with each other, if there's a plus sign in the middle, let's say that we have the log of m plus the log of n, we can rewrite these two logs as one single log using multiplication. So we'll have the log of m times n. So let's say that the 25 is our m and the z is our n. And once again, we have a plus sign, so we're going to use the product property. So we can rewrite these two logs as one single log using multiplication. So we'll have the log of m times n or the log of 25 times z. All right, so now this expression can be condensed even further. Now notice that we have two logs with a minus sign in the middle. And once again, the minus sign in the middle is a clear indication that we could use the quotient property. And once again, the quotient property says that we can rewrite these two logs using division. So let's say that the 4x squared over y squared is our m, and let's say that the 25z is our n, and we can rewrite these as one single log with m over n. So our m is 4x squared over y squared, and this can be divided by our n, which is 25z. 
All right, so now we're almost finished, uh, but notice how inside the log we have a fraction uh, within a fraction, and this is not okay, so we need to fix this. Um, so we have 4x squared over y squared divided by 25z. Um, we can take that 25z and just put it in the denominator next to the y squared. Um, so this simplifies to log of 4x squared all divided by 25z times y squared. And we have simplified these logarithms and condensed them into one single log. This is our final answer. So I hope this video gave you a better idea on how to condense logarithms. Once again, if you need any extra help, I do offer live tutoring and homework solutions. So check out my website if you are interested. Also, if you want to keep on learning about logs, check out my next video in the series. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.